What's going on guys? In this video, we're gonna tackle the problem of getting this message requiring you to download a game from the Google Play Store for a modded game that you downloaded from someplace else. So as you can see, I've got this game. Whenever I try to launch it, it tells me I must download it from the Google Play Store. So to fix this, we're gonna be using an app called Lucky Patcher. You may be familiar with it. And if you are, you've probably heard that it requires root privileges in order to work correctly. But do not worry because for this particular task, it does not need root permissions. It will work properly even without root. Okay, so I'm gonna prove and demonstrate using this root checker app that I do not currently have root on this device. I'm going to tap on verify root and it says, sorry, root access is not properly installed on this device. And it tells you that my Android version is 16. Okay, guys, so you install your game and install Lucky Patcher. Just to be clear, guys, this video is not concerned with the uh, inability to install a game. If you can't even install the game and you're getting errors while installing the game, that's a whole other topic, not the, the purpose of this video. So you need to be able to install your game, but if your issue is that you cannot launch the game after you install it and it tells you that it needs to be downloaded from the Google Play Store, then this video is the correct video for you. Okay guys, so you open up Lucky Patcher. First time you go into it, you'll need to provide it these permissions and then just tap allow. Then just find your game in the list of apps. Here's mine right here, tap on it. And then you wanna tap on menu of patches right here. And then you wanna tap on the first one, APK with multi-patch. Then you just wanna check these two options right here, the first one and the third one. Remove license verification, as well as the support patch for in-app and LVL emulation, just like that. And then tap on rebuild the app. Now on this screen, you wanna check a couple more things. You wanna check this third option. It says auto mode inversed. And you wanna check the remove dependencies right here. So those three, just like that, then go to the next step. And here you just wanna check the very first option so these two just like that, and then just go to the next step. Depending on the size of the game and the power and speed of your device, this may last uh, a couple of minutes. So I'm gonna pause the video and I'm gonna come back once it's finished. Okay guys, once it's done, you should have a screen like this with uh, some successes in green color and some failures in red. Don't worry, as long as you have a bunch of successes, even if you have some failures, it'll still work. But if you only have like one success or no successes at all, then chances are for that particular game that you're trying to do this for, it's not going to work. You could try to continue the steps with me anyways and see if it worked or not. But if it doesn't work, then you're going to require, you're going to need some more advanced uh, reverse engineering, you'll probably need to dump the game and uh, manipulate the, the files manually yourself, which essentially Lucky Patcher is doing um, like um, behind the scenes automatically for you. But like I said, some games are a little trickier and more complex than what Lucky Patcher can do. So hopefully it'll work for your game. All right, so guys, now we wanna go to go to file right here. And then you just want to go to uninstall and install right here. And then you just want to tap yes, tap OK. You're going to need to give Lucky Patcher permissions. So go ahead and flip on this toggle switch right here. Once you do, the installation will continue. You'll get this prompt. Just tap install. Now you can tap the back arrow on your device to go back and you can see it still running in the background. It's installing. Okay, now we can just launch it and you'll notice that bye bye Google Play message. Voila, works perfectly fine without forcing you to download it from the Google Play Store. So as an extra step, and this is totally optional, if you'd like to save the APK file so you can you know, save it someplace safe 
and come back to it later. You can extract it using MT Manager. So get, go into the app called MT Manager, go up to the three lines in the top left right here, come down to where it says Extract APK, find your game in the list of apps. Here's mine right here. Just tap on it and tap on Extract APK, depending again on the size of the game and the power and speed of your device. This will take a couple of minutes, possibly. So once it's finished, it's going to save it in a directory for you. It's called MT2. See right here, it saved it in this MT2 directory. So before we do anything with that, let's go ahead and uninstall the game so we can test the extracted APK. It's actually a split APK, a dot APKS. So now we can go to locate and it'll show you the file that it extracted. We could just tap on it, install it. And guys, as you can see, we are installing it not from the Google Play Store and it's going to work perfectly fine. We can launch it and as you can see, it works perfectly fine. I hope you guys have found this helpful. Enjoy. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.